Vamos fue la gota que derramó el vaso. Or if we translate it to gringo, Primos was the last straw that broke the camel's back. The camel's back? What, what are you talking about, my gringo friends? That phrase makes no sense. I'm going to do you a big favor and gift you the Mexican phrase la gota que derramó el vaso which is roughly translated to the drop that spilled the glass of water is basically the same thing that the straw that broke the camel's toe but this one makes actual sense you know like the other one has no meaning if you have any grasp of reality Maybe if you, I have the context, but I don't want to know the context of a camel getting its back broke. <laughs> Anyways, Primos. <laughs> Whatever happened to Primos, the glorious, glorious, infamous, final, irrefutable proof that Disney is one of the worst, most disgusting, evil, and racist companies in the world. And we, everyone that lives in reality, we all knew this, we all knew that. But, you know, Disney has been like that for a while. In the past, at least, they were not such hypocrites about it. That's the main thing. In the past, they were, you know, putting the Chinese cats and, and those things that I cannot even reference in YouTube without getting demonetized. And they were like, oh yeah, yeah, those were racist. But nowadays it's like they do shit like, you know, removing Finn from the Chinese poster because Chinese don't like black men. Or, you know, removing a lot of gay kisses from countries that are not allowed to exist. Literally, countries where you get the big at it for being gay yet disney loves making money in those countries but at the same time tries to you know praise to the choir about a message of diversity inclusion and everyone can love each other and whatever but doing the exact same opposite thing when it comes to making money and that's what makes me freaking angry so before we actually break down whatever happened to Primos, if it's even going to come out, if it was it canceled, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell with a machete, orale! <laughs> and let's continue into the video. But before I forget, Become a member and join the Mexave. Join for taco lessons. Orale. Ajua. <laughs> so, Primos. The story of Primos needs a little bit of a timeline here because it is a complex and nuanced. And a, 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 what I mean is that a, a bunch of bullshit happening in a short period of time. And I had to be organized about this. If not, I'm going to rant for half an hour. So, what happened first is like in June 13, the show was announced. I watched this announcement because I like cartoons. I usually watch a lot of cartoons, you know. I usually get notifications for these kind of shows, animated shows, especially Latino shows. And, you know, when I first saw the poster and I saw that it was produced by Disney, I was like, okay, this is gonna be a train wreck. Then literally like three days happened and that very same Friday the trailer was released. When the trailer was released it was really funny because I was working so I was watching the video without no sound and I almost could and I almost could hear the music because I knew it was going to be the most stereotypical oh, maraca, guitarra, the trompeta and things like that that they were going to put in the, 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 the music. In the first, this literally the first sound that I heard from that song, I was like, <laughs> no way, I was right. And then I watched the entire thing, literally just second, and I couldn't believe how bad it was. I made the video and not only that, but at, during the same time period, a lot of people were pointing out a lot of things that I pointed out in my video as well. 
things that I didn't know that are re I, that are actually that are a fact for other cultures and those things helped me to make the video and right after I was making the video then came Mirna Velasco with her throw bombshell <laughs> Latin American is not Mexican and whatever like Spanish is not a Latin American language that's a pretty stupid like it was a language that was flared with by the freaking by the conquistadors I already refuted and completely dismissed that uh, bold claim in my video where I respond to Mirna Lasco link down below for all my previous videos if you haven't watched them yet but let's just say TLDR is stupid to say that Spanish is not a Latin American language. When in the first time, the reason why are we called Latin American is we, because we speak a language that comes from Latin, that therefore they turn Latin America, which also includes French Guyana, Suriname, and also includes Brazil, because in Brazil they speak Portuguese, which is a Latin language. A romance, una lengua romance. So yeah, that is a pretty stupid claim. I didn't learn Spanish from a conquistador. I learned Spanish from my mom. I also learned English from my mom. She was not a conquistador, although she's she she has Spanish roots. Don't get me wrong. She she is Spanish descent, but she was no conquistador. She's like half my size for Christ's sake. Hi mom <laughs> But yeah After that video Mirna Velasco completely took down her socials Literally went private mode on Instagram Which is something that I didn't know I don't even know how you do it But yeah, let's just say he, she did To escape the criticism of the show Inadvertently so The criticism just grew bigger and bigger and a lot of people like myself were just ripping on the show and making parodies of it because it was just, uh, just a big yoke. Right after that, you know, YouTube suppresses the content and every every Primo's video just get completely shadow banned. And right after that, I was not able to, you know, make another Primo video because of that. And all my videos got shadow banned because I bullied too hard the Primo's thing, which, again, is one of the most racist things that Disney has done ever since the the Song of Freedom. Is that the name? I, I don't know. The, the Song of the South. The Song of the South. That's it. <laughs> Do you remember that? I, most people don't remember that this was actually produced by Disney and I cannot even I, I probably cannot even show a picture of the poster because that even co could be considered racist yet again it's Disney so that is no news whatsoever but in the end Disney Primos was supposed to come out in October 23 yet it didn't obviously it didn't and you know it probably screwed me the most that this show has not been coming out and it's being pushed back well that's the first time it got pushed back in back in october that's the when it was supposed to come out usually when shows post a trailer they are three months or four months ahead of releasing the actual show not only that but not only that but there were reports and even and the director herself were was saying that it was coming out in October. But it didn't. And what happened? It got pushed back. It got pushed back to when? Well it got pushed back into January of 2024. Yes, yes, this month. Yes. And I was excited. I was like all giddy and excited. And I was like, oh 2024 is not going to be the worst year in history of humanity from the last 60 years. No, because Primus is finally coming out in January. And then I look for it everywhere and it's nowhere. Nowhere to be found. And guess what? It got pushed back yet again. Not only it got pushed back yet again, but by by 
what it seems from what I've read from multiple reports okay take it with a grain of salt these are either rumors or people that were straight just looking at the code in the Disney website the Disney Plus website and you can see that in the code it is ingrained that this show is supposed to come in until June of this year at least it's coming out of that what they tell us you know I hope he doesn't get cancelled because trust me when Primus comes out that is going to be my Navidad cabron <laughs> that is my charisma so it was supposed to come out this January January 7 almost at the same time no a January 14 a week after the the premiere of Echo which is going to be another cluster fudge if you want to see my Echo reviews check out my channel hit the subscription bell hit the notification bell if you want to get action notifications because YouTube refuses to show my videos to people even though that some people like to watch them and that is unfair so if you want to beat to the feet those patrones of YouTube and the power of YouTube please make sure to comment down below because it helps a lot every comment makes the world of a difference like literally every comment is almost like a hundred views per comment so if you comment down below it's going to help me get the actual recognition for my work that youtube refuses to give me and thank you so much for watching again primos is coming out on june or well they, they they say summer they didn't specify about june or july but yeah this summer is coming out and we're gonna rip it apart we're gonna have watch parties we're gonna have jesus christ we're gonna, we're gonna do voiceovers we're gonna do parody songs we're gonna do everything that we can to destroy this garbage woke racist show and that's it for the video primos if you like it you like it and if you know pues ni pedo see you in the next one primos bye Rich mayo, safety in Betty Crocker, freezer burn, queso blanco, and power stern, Oreo filling, plain vanilla, torsa cracker, pale gorilla, white beans, meat, toast, colonizer, skinhead, nazis, sympathizer, ah!